Hey guys, what's up? Jordan here. And today's video, we're gonna be going over the Acorns app. Uh, some of you guys might be familiar with this app. It is an investment app um, that I personally use. I've been using it for about two years. So I just wanna go over it and how I've used it so far and kind of give my general review of it in the year 2020. So I've had this, like I said, for about two years. This is one of the first apps that I used to start learning about investing and getting into the whole stock market and just learning that whole language. I do recommend this app for beginners, people who are starting out or people who you know are learning how to save money, people who have a hard time saving money. This app definitely enables you and helps you a lot in that pursuit to save money because it kind of works in the background of life. So I'm gonna show you guys some pretty useful features that Acorns allows for users to, you know, throw money in the stock market without them really noticing, you know, the money leaving their bank account, if you will. So I have it here pulled up on my phone. Um, this does work on the web or it works on your phone. Either or, I'm gonna go ahead and use the phone version just because most of you guys probably watch it will probably be using it on your phone. So if you don't have the app Acorns and you are, would like to get started, use my link in the description. We both get, uh, I believe it's like $5 invested in our accounts. Um, there's three different types of accounts with Acorns, but I'll show you guys that in a minute. So let's go ahead and jump on in into the Acorns app. Now, when you first open it, you're gonna be greeted with the uh, Touch ID or Face ID, whatever authentication you use. This is for the two-factor, so if somebody steals your phone, they can't go into your um, personal apps and sell some stuff or whatever. So as you're gonna see, it says your total value of your accounts. Now, I use my Acorns account a little differently than most people do probably. Um, every time my invest for your future you see that one that says fifteen dollars in there every time that hits about a hundred dollars i pull that money out and i put it into my robin hood account and you know i just repeat that cycle i'll show you guys i've been doing that for probably like seven months eight months something along those lines so when you first open your acorns account there are three tiers that you can sign up for um in this order as you guys see them so invest later spend and early so invest is just your investment account this is linked to bonds stocks mutual funds things of that nature that you put in the money into acorns and it automatically disperses into stocks real estate things along that nature um, to be very diversified so that is a tip of acorns it is very diversified your money is spread throughout hundreds of stocks so if the markets do swing you know you're pretty much trailing what the general markets do. So the invest for your future, that is $1 a month. Next is later. This is your retirement account, your Roth IRA. This one is another dollar a month, so $2 a month. Um, this is just linked to stocks or whatever is for a retirement account. If you guys wanna see a video on what a Roth IRA is, let me know in the comments. I would be happy to make that video. So like I said, that one's another dollar a month. So total $2 a month for this subscription. That's what I pay. Spend, that is where they give you their little debit card and you can go out and spend money on their debit card and automatically rounds up in real time. Um, I'll explain that in a little bit. But that one is another dollar a month. So each tier is another dollar. Um, that one is obviously gonna be $3 a month. And then early is for um, your kids. You can set your kids up on this account. They don't have access to it until they turn like 18 or something, but you can funnel money into their account and watch it grow over time. And when they turn 18, you can give them the account. So it's pretty cool. So that one's another dollar. So total $4 a month. I pay $2 a month, like I said. So I pay for the invest and the later account. So we're gonna go ahead and jump on in into the invest account. So as you guys can see, you're greeted with the value of the account, roundups, one time, and withdraw. Now what roundups are, say you go out and spend a dollar fifty on some coffee or whatever, what happens is whatever the cents are, it rounds up to the next dollar. So say it is a dollar fifty, it will round that extra fifty cents to the nearest dollar, so two dollars, and that fifty cents is thrown into the stock market. Now you can turn on multipliers, so it'll multiply the roundups two times, four times, ten times, whatever. I have mine set on like a three times multiplier. So if it was 50 cents, it'll be $1.50 thrown into the 
thrown into acorns which is pretty cool this is the pretty useful feature that i was telling you guys about that helps you guys save and stay on track with your money honestly you don't really notice it that much in the background of life but it is a pretty cool feature to have because as time goes on those extra couple 25 cents or whatever add up over time and while more and more of those roundups add up like i said this is all connected to the stock market so historically the stock market does go up over say like a 10 year period so if you're willing to you know let your money grow for 10 or 10 or more years you could be looking at a pretty positive return on your money um that 50 cents back in 2010 could be worth a lot of money in 2020. so next is the one time so you just throw in a hundred dollars one time whatever pretty cool feature and then withdrawal this is what i do every time it hits a hundred dollars i withdraw and put into my Robinhood account so here's my portfolio i have mine set on aggressive so as you guys can see this is what your this is where your money goes when you throw money into acorns when your portfolio is set onto aggressive uh, large company stocks medium company stocks small company stocks and international company stocks that's personally what i have mine set as but whatever your risk tolerance is if you guys don't want to have that much money into large company stocks then adjust accordingly and all of this info is on their website so you can go through all these different types of um, portfolios as you guys can see and how your money will be allocated uh, if you want to be more diversified in other sectors so like i said the roundups settings so here it is right here so two times three times or ten times um, pretty cool and then recurring so this is a recurring deposit so every monday of the week it takes out ten dollars from my bank account and throws it into the acorns app with that ten dollars it throws it and allocates it to like i said large company stocks small company stocks medium company stocks you get the gist and all this happens in the background and that is where that dollar comes in you know you're paying for this subscription while it's doing all that accounting on the back end so it's pretty cool so here is my chart um like i said i used to use this a lot um and my account peaked at like two thousand dollars right here and then I took all my money out and put it into Robinhood and started buying individual stocks. This is where I was kind of learning how to, you know, use the stock market and doing my research before I was willing to, you know, invest in individual stocks because you do risk a lot when you do that, but risk versus reward. So as you guys can see, over time it hits 100, I withdraw, hits 100, I withdraw, hits 100, I withdraw. So I've been doing that, yep, so about one year marks that 100 and withdrawal every month so august of 2019 so i can't give you guys the best accurate info of what my returns are for this account because like i said i do withdraw but we can go on to my later account and that will probably give us give us a better picture of what my returns look like now i don't withdraw any money from this this just automatically deposits five dollars a week and i don't plan on really selling any of this um anytime soon so we're going to go over the performance so this account let's see when i started this so april of 2019 and we've returned 11 percent on my money which is pretty decent the stock market on average goes up like nine percent a year so this is pretty much on track to what the stock market does generally so like i said five dollars a week you can put this to literally whatever your heart desires um and it will perform accordingly now, one feature I do like is the potential. So if you click on that top right arrow right there, as you guys can see, if we go, so we're just gonna start um, right here. So if I have my roundups left on and $10 every week, um, starting today, it projects around 20, I'll have $1,300, which is pretty accurate if I, like I said, if I don't withdraw my money. So we're just gonna pan the picture all the way until 65 which is the average retirement age to see how much money we could possibly have from ten dollars a week this is literally compound interest at its finest as you guys can see you know when you first start those first couple of years you don't really see too much of a return um until you start swinging out um and letting time do its thing so as you guys can see those returns as time goes on get huge every year you leave your money in just letting it grow so we're gonna go to 65, like I said, I believe. Well, it stops at 64. So $281,000, more than a quarter million dollars you would have from $10 a week 
um, of just letting your money do its thing as time goes on. That is pretty much the power of the stock market and compound interest. Now this is potential, this is not guaranteed, none of this is guaranteed. So yeah, that's pretty much Acorns in a nutshell. Uh, if you guys don't have an Acorns account and would like to get started, like I said, use that link in the description and we both get $5 invested in our portfolios, which is pretty cool. So hopefully you guys like this video. This was my 2020 review of Acorns and what I think of it. I will be continuing to use Acorns I do like their retirement account and how they have that set up. So I plan to use this for quite a long time. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. Like and share this video with somebody you know that may be interested in starting their journey in the stock market. Until the next video, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.